Look who's back, Congresswoman Kat Kamek from House Homeland Security. Uh, Congresswoman, it's great to have you on. Okay, this D.C. controversy, it's good to see you. Lucrative stock trading by Nancy Pelosi's husband, while she's Speaker of the House and has been in Congress. The, her team's answer, her, her office is saying, Nancy Pelosi does not own any stocks. Here's the problem. The Pelosi's live in California. California is a community property state, so she does own them. Yeah, no, this is what's crazy. Um, I would love for a member of the media to ask her about their arrangement, whether they have a prenup or if they were to divorce, what would happen with all of those assets that she claims aren't hers? This is ridiculous. And a little known fact that I think Americans should know is that when members trade stocks, they have up to 30 days to report it, 30 days. And even then, they don't have to give the exact amount of what they purchased or sold. It's just a range. So this is just one more example of this double set of standards that Congress lives by that Americans don't have to live by. And it's ridiculous. It's totally unfair. And it needs to change. This is absolutely the swamp at work at its best. You know, Congresswoman, the other problem, too, is Paul Pelosi, he buys stock options in companies like big tech companies, right? Again, making yes. millions of dollars while Pelosi's overseeing potential legislation that could hit companies mm -hmm. like big tech. To be able to trade stock options profitably, you have to know or figure out which direction that stock could go, and then you make a big profit. So this feels like, you know, there's, there's talk that they've got an insider information edge. Absolutely. When you think about this, there you have that 30-day lag of when things are going to be reported, if they're reported at all. And if they aren't reported, get this, it's only a $200 fine. So there's millions of dollars of stocks that have been traded, that have been bought. And you think that the, the $200 fine is going to bother the Pelosi's? I think not. They clearly have no regard for the law, as discovered by the drunk driving incident by Mr. Pelosi. But also think about this. You have have all of these stocks that are being bought and sold all the time, legislation that is typically in draft form, and the speaker is in control of what bills come to the House floor and when. Tell me that that is not the most incestuous relationship of all. We know that he's getting inside information because there's no way that he would have known that in July the CHIPS Act or USICA was going to be coming to the House floor for a vote after the Senate has been considering their version. There's just no way he would have known that because we had seen months ago action on this bill and then it died out. So clearly there was some insider baseball going on, some insider information, and it's wrong. We absolutely should be investigating this, and she should be held accountable for sharing this information with her husband. So, and the Congresswoman, okay, to your point, buying millions of dollars worth of stock in big tech companies with headquarters yeah. in Pelosi's own district, that chip maker NVIDIA is in Pelosi's home district. Again, $52 billion in taxpayer funding of chip makers to take on China, that's coming down the pipeline. Apple, Google, yes. all have their headquarters right in Pelosi's district. That's who Paul Pelosi's invested in. I mean, it just to, critics are saying this raises questions that Nancy Pelosi leads a life of privilege. She and her husband think they're untouchable. And that, you know, his, that the idea that her job has nothing to do with, with his financial do, doings and dealings, it just doesn't pass the, pass the smell test. I mean, this is making money off of your perch in Congress. It feels like arrogant elitism, the swamp on steroids. Absolutely. I mean, this is absolutely why Americans across this country do not tr trust members of Congress. It's because they live by a separate set of standards. There's inside information that members of Congress are privy to because they work and craft this legislation. They engage with these companies on a regular basis. They talk to the associations. Not only that, but they control the floor schedule. In this case, Speaker Pelosi is the one who decides when this bill comes to the floor and has regular conversations with the other chamber in the Senate to determine when this will go to conference. So, again, a double set of standards. We saw this under Hillary Clinton. We've seen it under the Pelosi's. There's a double set of standards that exist for the politically connected and the limousine liberals and the elites. It has to change. We can no longer keep going down this path and expect people to uh, abide by laws when members of Congress don't abide by them. So it's pretty simple. And I think we need to get a handle on this. Congresswoman Kamek, thanks for joining us.